Starbuck Phantom Aces, so in Phantom Aces. Both uh, will be very, very happy with the top four. If anything, yesterday was an outstanding day for both of them. Who performs better when it really, really counts? Starbuck, upper left hand side is the human. So in bottom right hand side as the orc. And we open things up with the fast here. It's Tight Hunters. It is Soin's map. This is where he feels he is favored. Hybrid Mind, thank you for the sub. There is also an element that we didn't discuss yet, and that is Mountain King openers. Haven't seen that in a while. Can be pressured a lot, but on macro maps, there might be a bit of a chance because it's offline, and so far, Starbucks performances have been the best with outlandish strategies. We've seen double Rex, Headhunter all in against Fortitude. Pally Rifle, obviously. But also the other maps of Starbuck versus Happy was one base rifle. Unorthodox play is what got him so far. So now against Soin, for the first time in two matches, he's not the underdog. He is the favorite. So does that switch his tactics? Is that Starbuck going back to full meta? So far, it looks like it. No Pally Rifle, Archmage, Water Elemental, Creeping. And Soin, his recipe to success, and that is also very similar to what Starbuck played, is aggression. Lots of aggression. Whether that was against Sock, or whether that was against Law Light, the early game, being instantly in the opponent's face, don't let the opponent unfold his play, that was the foundation for everything else that was to come. Both with quick decks. Archmage creeping in parallel was a very quick transition to the top creep camp to the bottom, knowing that the fast year would be here. So far the micro is good, no sloppy mistakes, no signs of nervousness. And Starbucks getting the chip damage and ring of superiority. This is a one creep stolen, I think. And a wolf falling as well. Okay, good progress on the Archmage. This in-game sound a bit low. Trying to boost it for you. Skirmish is in the middle. Fast tech. Because the second heroes will be power spikes. Ooh, footman kill already. As Soin's pressure is ramping up. Wolf position looking great. You don't want to lose two footmen in the early game. You need them for the mid game fights. You need them for the creeping. And you don't want to feed that wolf up. I would say this early game. Looking solid for Soin. He was always in the shadows of the other Koreans. Lin, Moon, obviously. But also, Lawlight, Focus, Sock. They all had their great moments, great tournaments. Soin had won. Up until now. Turtle goes to Soin as well. I think Starbuck is struggling quite a bit. Uh, with this two farm tech, you know that your progress will be slower. You know that you can't really be in your opponent's face because the pressure is on you. Never was the mental. Level 1.9 is pretty extraordinary for Soen, I would say. And now we do unfold tier 2. Mountain King on the way. Rifle casters, it is. And this is what I guess we expected. This is. As normal as it can be in this meta. Starbuck would obviously love to get level 3. Chain Lightning might be necessary. No parallel creeping, but rather creep jacking. Shu is on the other foot now with Soen leveling up to level 2. It would be a crucial moment to get like a headhunter. Six headhunters is an insane creep speed that you want to put on your TC because you have a little bit of catching up to do since the Mountain King is out faster. The Mountain King will be supported by rifles and casters for the creeping. And then it should even out at some level. But the crux here is to slow down the enemy 
and to find timing windows. Gather information as well. We see a scout footman being attacked but not killed. Two headhunters down already. And this matchup is so razor sharp that every additional gold you can squeeze out of your opponent is worth a lot. Can you force a shop early to delay another unit, to delay a damage dealer, a caster? Can you force some peasant run bys to get him off of lumber, etc. So all these tiny things are coming together. Mountain King is starting with a little bit of extra damage and a little bit of extra HP with the belt of giant strength. Moving towards the laboratory, then maybe even to the middle already. As, as an orc, you want everything in this game now, but not be close to the Stormbolt. You want to level. That gives a lot of map control to Starbuck. He makes use of it. The lab, maybe even the market, but for sure the shop. In the meantime, evasion creeping by Soen. Stay as far away from me as possible. This map at the bottom left-hand side has a lot to offer. In XP and in items. Consumables it is. TC with the ring. TC with the big mana. And so far, Soen is playing his very style. Wolves 2 again. TC... We have seen a lot of Shockwave, and especially for Soen, we've seen a lot of Shockwave. A little undecisive yet. We don't see the Breakers. So without Breakers, it's usually a Stomping TC. Starbuck pushing and contesting earlier than probably expected. But this red spot on the bottom left-hand side is one of the biggest consumables on the entire map and a huge chunk of XP that both want to get. Archmage, Farsi are both exactly level 3, 2.2, 2.6 respectively. And the peasants are here. So in is under pressure now. He's trying to free himself with the Storm, the first big fight of the lower bracket semi-final. Who's in better shape today after a tremendous day two? Clap, Storm, AoE everywhere. Headhunter's about to fall, no power build on the shop. He has resources, Starbuck, a little bit of a misclick there, maybe. So in again displaying an amazing raider control, always finding a way into the backline, makes the casters work, so they can't heal and they can't cast too much slow. But what's left for So in TC in trouble? Can he get some mana back? TC trying to free himself, town portal to live another day. While well, the wolves are eating up another caster, but the headhunters are falling for So in in very, very quick succession. Push is still alive, and now he can finally fix that tower with the money that he was banking throughout the fight. He might be able to afford a potion. Stormbolt flying, Raider falling. It's up to the wolves now to do amazing damage and to do what Starbuck did before, and that is take out the damage dealers. The big mana potion for the TC is gone. He's just a big grunt at the moment. Another end snares flying. That is important. You need some time to kill these sturdy dwarves. It is a bloodbath on tight hunters. Starbuck falling apart a little bit here. So in having a better second half of that fight. Once the mana was gone, the Mountain King was never able to get level 3. And Starbuck with his army down the dumpster. The rifle caster push was a little bit too early. And so in with the items that he found, with the progress that he made, is able to weather the storm and has a 10 food lead on game 1. And now Starbuck under pressure, as he was yesterday. Versus 40 versus Happy. So in with a strong defense. Stomp was obviously the right call. Fueled by the mana potion. There was a lot of disabled, followed up by great wolves, great raiders. It's lovely to see So in being able to contest and play his best. And Starbuck, maybe a bit shaky at the beginning of the series. Scroll of the Beast would be amazing with a bigger army. It is, of course, a lot about mana and sustain. And three heal wards is a lot of sustain. How can you recover from this? High level heroes is the way back for Starbuck. 5-5 five, five are kinda necessary. 
He still has a lot to creep on his side of the map. The lab, the expo. He has one more consumable here. And that's the marketplace. Speaking of consumables, in fights with Clap, Chain Lightning and Stomp. Very little is as necessary as Heal Scrolls. And so in got one. Starbuck did not. He would have the resources now. Has to hope for a good item. It is an invo potion, which is nice. But not fantastic unless you can dodge storms with it and enable a play. That is a lot of security. Both players have their eyes on the prize in the upper right hand side. We see a transition by Soen with Shaman. So far it was only the new style that Soen helped implement with Raider Grunt's Headhunter Kodo. And now he feels safe, now he feels secure. Playing this one base was damn smart. Usually the Orc is always looking for an expansion. This wasn't the case here. Starbuck had the perfect army for an expansion play. So and said, nah, let's not do that. I'm gonna be playing without an expansion. I'm also gonna be playing without casters. And with Grunt's Headhunter Raider Kodo, I can fight. You might be able to overwhelm me later, but until then, I have an advantage. Heal scroll in with potion. TC coming in! Epicenter stomp! That is the opening that Soen needed! Oh my! Starbuck being caught by surprise! Two riflemen ensnared and killed, eviscerated! Starbuck still has the supply lead. The rifle splits were amazing in the game against Happy yesterday. But is that enough? The heal ward untouched for the most part. That is now a blessing that he found that invo potion because the Mountain King behind enemy lines. That TC is a menace, but how long can he survive? He has an invo potion himself. Maybe a heal ward to get some healing in. Militia are a big backstab to these headhunters. Is so in falling apart a little bit. The sustain is of course on the human side thanks to Brilliance. Aura mana is all empty. Pure out brawls. So in's army is everywhere. Farseer falls! Oh my god! Starbuck! Being caught by surprise, but now Soen is the one with his pants down. Double kill, Bucky! Can you believe it? The heal one on the right hand side, he's saving the TC. He's level five. The vampiric aura as well, so much sustain, but there's no way to fight out of there. Soen tried his very, very best, but it wasn't enough. An amazing start to the fight via the storm, but then Starbuck with the rifle control once again out of this world whenever he has a rifle he's a monster and now he's cleaning up the entire battlefield there's not much left though army wise he lost all the rifles all the casters but he got the heroes and the heroes are what wins you games in this matchup next question what's up with the expo starbuck has been down for seven to eight minutes this was the fight he needed benching the two heroes very unfortunate to lose so much army, though. <sighs> so explosive! This is why we love Human Orc. More units to be falling. Farseer is benched for a long time. But Starbuck must know it's a lot about recovery. He does invest into items, though. Heal scroll double in wall. Five Archmage 4.8. Is that level five? <sighs> Close. Decisions to be. Oh, that is level five. Clap three with no heal scroll. And Water Elementals 3. Both players can still win this game. Armio Igraka Taku. 4.3, 4.2, no. Gold looks the same to me. Red spot. No experience, but the biggest item on the map. And he takes the XP away from the Farseer, who will have no chance to get level 5 outside of fighting. Battle Bongos, nice for rifles, not ideal, but 
Won't complain about that. Another Sanctum. Starbuck is transitioning. He's investing a lot into something that's not units. He's not catching up in supply that way. So in his mining, Starbuck knows. So in his ready, playing a defensive game. Transitioning into breakers. But is that too little too late? Did Starbuck only fight find out about that expo now? Or did he know it before? Invis Sport Elemental? We don't have Invis yet. Should he have stayed on so inside of the map? Check for the expo. He was down to two heroes though. Understandable that he did retreat and he went for shop control early. Maybe could have split Archmage from Mountain King or send a water elemental, but mana was also low. Easy in hindsight. So in positioning himself towards the shop again. Heal scroll on his side. Two invul versus one. Is the fast here gonna be the target again? Soen is mining a lot. Can a Mountain King make up 20 food? Starbuck must have a clear goal in mind, but... What is it? Did he misread the game? Starbuck is not paying upkeep. So the economy advantage isn't as big as 40% extra. Starbuck is banking a lot. But you can't bank until the mine is empty. That's too much. We got a Witch Doctor. I was thinking Witch Doctor upgrade. But no. Usually the sign of a tier 1 player. Knowing when you can be passive. Because you always have that incentive to be active on the map. But X-Lord, Happy, also a Lin, they showed that sometimes sitting is winning. It feels very one-sided. Invis Potion, second heal scroll. Vamp Aura for Grunt's Raiders is, by the way, tremendous. Is this the fight now? Starbuck has only 400 gold. If Starbuck is fighting in a choke, Breakers up front, Blizzard behind, Raiders far away from the Archmage, there might be a chance? He wants the Tome of Retraining, but so in, so in knows. Like... He's right there. He has a watch award at the shop to see when Starbuck is going for the shop to then ambush him. Great, great mind for the situation by Soen. He has it all figured out. That witch doctor is offering so much right now. He got the expo checked out for a play there. He got the shop checked out. He's also sending them now to the bottom to see if there's an expansion left hand side. Great. Great. Starbuck is trying to outplay him a little bit with invisibility. But wards, guys. Wards. I love this. So in big brain. So one could... Oh, he is low on lumber. Otherwise, he could go tier 3, actually. So many upgrades. So many upgrades. I think the wards shut every door that there is for Starbuck to come back. We are on even footing, and maybe the lack of lumber is hurting Soen. 
But he also got the shop control. He got three heal scrolls. No blizzard. He bought the Tome of Retraining. Did he buy two? I'm not sure. We do go Shockwave TC. That is not uncommon. But did he buy both? Did he buy both? That's the Starbuck play if I ever have seen one. And Soen is applying the Starbuck strategies to himself. Oh my. TC Invis waiting for the shockwave. So much damage. Second heal scroll on that Mountain King. Okay. Fossil level 5 now as well. 3 versus 2. We got a lightning shield. We got more shockwave. This is one heal scroll gone already. The chain link, the AoE, it doesn't stop. This is what happened to Sock before. Dodges the storm bolt with an invo potion. Soin is playing a tremendous game. Is barely losing anything. And now what do you do when the heal scrolls are gone? When there is no blizzard? When you gotta run? When the mountain king is out of mana? No mana potion available for him anymore. The horde is running. What a show by Soin. The perfect, perfect, perfect plays. Mountain King is dealing a lot of damage, but the TC is level 6. There is no chance and a shocking start to the series for the hero of yesterday. Fastia Archmage it is. Standard. A lot of humans wanted to play the expansions, wanted to play on these maps that incentivize expansions. So and also sticking with the Farseer with his aggressive play. They so far play what they we played before. In the human base, we again have to count the farms. Oh, Starbuck. Flexing a bit, blocking a bit. Shadow Priest, super important. Starbuck gets it. Oh bash! Whew, okay. Don't lose the game because of bashes again, Bucky. Not something you can influence, I guess. But yeah, Shadow Priests on Echo Isles. Both first heroes rely heavily on summons, Water Elemental Wolves. Shadow Priest gives you Dispel. Both players want to s skip the shop for as long as possible. It's mostly due to healing. Great lasted by Soen. And then Shadow Priest offers you healing. WC3L Happy, thank you for the sub. Yesterday being eliminated by Starbuck, now subbing for 45 months. Kappa. It is two base rifles again. It is the same strategy. Last game, this rifle push fell a bit flat on its face. The first push wasn't good at all. But that was also because it wasn't an expansion. Archmage lasted important to unlock the Brilliant Sora. Rifles are the best versus expansions. So Soin is playing this a little bit differently than what we've seen before. It is a Farseer, fa super fast tech. Maybe expecting an expansion play by Starbuck himself. So, Starbuck will be getting rifle casters out, while Soen doesn't have a production building. You can see the mind games. Creep denied? Wait, what happened? The Shadow Priest got the the Shadow Priest got killed by by a creep. All right, all right, all right, not bad. Fasia was able to get one water elemental, but that's about it. Taking quite some damage. Soen wasn't interested in the mercenary camp, and yeah, the, like the level of mind games is crazy. Like I think you are doing this, and then it would be easy to go for the hard counter, but there is one step further to this train of thought. Or maybe three or four steps. When you know the characteristics of your opponent and all the plays in the book, it's always a little bit of a gamble what the right approach is. We get Raider Kodo Shaman, Grunts as well, no Headhunters this time. But early Dispel with Shaman. This is good experience for Starbuck, and this is a fast level 3. He doesn't have a push in him, I guess. Maybe he can pressure some Boros with the last remaining footman, but it's really not that many. It very much looks like 
another one of these rifle pushes. So in has his eyes on the map once again. We saw that little red dot. He knows the movement of Starbuck, who's orienting himself towards the north for the marketplace to get the big consumable and so in. His job should be to contest this, but he doesn't have any forces to contest this. There is no chain lightning for the last hit. There is no storm shockwave for the last hit. I think this should be a clean marketplace and that's the biggest consumable on the map. Head scratch, head scratch. Oh, this is a good game for Starbucks so far. Big mana potion for him now. Little bit of evening out the item luck. Soen was the one with the big mana on game one. Now it's vice versa. Both players almost on a career high when it comes to shape. So in won four maps against Happy in a row at B Cup. Starbuck won three maps in a row against Happy yesterday here on the stage in Dubai. A slower approach by Starbuck. Learned the lesson. Two farm rifle tech into a main base. Not really necessary. Level four Archmage. Did he... Is he soaking up too much XP with the Archmage? And is underdeveloping the Mountain King? Looks a bit like it. But we have 250 gold. That's a heal scroll. And so in with an expansion play. This looks very, very fragile. But the levels are getting there. The Archmage is obviously... How did this Archmage get level 4? That's insane. And he has shop control. Ooh, that is a lot of arguments in favor of Starbuck here on map 2. Yeah, easy. This is why the rifles are so good. Like, this is the timing that you want to hit. Did Soen bet on the wrong horse early on with the fast tech? If Starbuck expands, and this is what Sock and Fortitude did. If Star Starbuck expands, this fast tech by Soen can result in like Fire Lord, Mass Raider push. Everything that's good against expansion. Against the fast expansion of Starbuck, the fast tech by Soen would have been the perfect call. But Starbuck anticipating this, learning from Soen's matches against Sock and Fortitude, and playing it different. Still, this can uh, Soen's fights are great. Are Beyond what we've seen so far from him in this tournament. And maybe a fight can turn this around. It's shockwave, chain lightning, double claws, lots of mana. Oh my god, this Mountain King. 440 mana on level 2 and a big mana potion and a brilliance aura level 2. That is a lot of claps. Yeah, Starbuck is miles ahead. He was just waiting for that Mountain King 3. And now I think he got all the assets. Gets invisibility, is working on breakers. Ooh, I love that Soen is going Chain Lightning too. We've had a lot of wolves too, this entire tournament. Now we're making adjustments. Mountain King is also getting tanky. And we're fighting for shop control again. Starbuck, more gold at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second involved. Okay, so you need one of these fights that look like they are not possible, but you make them reality. There are no breakers yet, as the shop is also late. And Soen is trying to force a fight on the last lack of this expansion. Is Starbuck again too passive? Armio 
So we're moving north at potentially the worst timing. Trying to force Starbuck back. He sends the militia back. And this is how you want to play. To distract and buy time. Shockwave, chain lightning on workers and casters. Starbuck! Parts of his army are trapped with the Murlocs? Oh, that's not good. So in with an easy retreat here, I think. Dispel against the slow. Doesn't even need the speed scroll. Good moment for Soen. This could have been half a disaster for Starbuck. This was a lot of priests missing in the fight, potentially. And Starbuck, you gotta fight. Expo is up, but didn't pay off yet. So it's at 63. Parts of that, of course, lots of peons. He sends the units back again. He knows there's... Like, where's the aggression of yesterday? Oh, we're running into the army. Starbuck isn't fully here. Stormbolt, clap, Mountain King surrounded. Starbuck now with a better fighting position. Shockwave trying to dodge. Dodged it half, I guess. Raiders are making a connection, but being gunned down by rifles. All open battlefield. Oftentimes good for the Orc. The shockwave is amazing. Mountain King has to follow this up. So in. This might be your moment here. Can he get the 2-0? Oh? The heal spells are gone though, and the dwarf has still a big mana potion. He gets the exit kills. Wanted to save the Kodo. Couldn't. That's the unit being back. And Starbuck can keep the momentum up for now. Well, this looked a little shaky. But he turned it around. Was able to fix it. So in. Into the middle. Immediately. He kept the Archmage back for the heal scroll, which is exactly what he needs for the next fight. And this is the moment now. This is the momentum that he needed. Love the Mountain King positioning. Anticipating so in to come in. But nope. He's going for the main once again. Starbuck doesn't have a TP. Are we having a base race with Raiders? I really like the moves by Soen. This will be a kicked expansion, but the question is at what cost? Starbuck has the gold for a town portal once again, but also here the question, what can Soen kill prior to the fight? Archmage will be coming home. He will be greeted by Chain Lightning 2 and by Shockwave 2. Massive, massive damage. Oh no! He won't be greeted by a Shockwave because he's out of mana. Expo down. And to be honest... There wasn't too many kills for Soen there. Structural damage. Yep, with the shop being down. Breaker's blocked for now. And two workers. That's about it. And that expansion was expensive. That expansion was expensive. This was, I think, the only move that Soen could do. There wasn't enough time... ...to recover for a fight. As humans are always recovering faster than orcs. And cheaper. And Starbuck is riding the momentum. It was a lifesaver that he had the gold for the town portal. And this this Mountain King has 9 armor on top, by the way. 9 armor. And now this base is wide open. Starbuck, not a perfect game, but this should give him a lot of momentum. Knowing that he made the right calls. Even though he was a bit passive. So in with Raider, Pillage is getting a little bit of extra income. Starbuck also supply blocked, getting some upgrades in. He's walking back with again no TP. So in is supply blocked already, losing the burrow's cost. Starbuck now losing a couple of workers, and I love that wolf scout to know exactly when to retreat. Soen is playing some really, really, really good Warcraft. Even when behind on Starbucks map.
Mountain King. That's the opener he needs. What the TC did to the human army on Tight Hunters, the Mountain King is trying to do now. Gotta run away from the mad cow, though. We have a lightning shield up. Scrappy fight. Kodo in the back. Shockwave hits hard, but that was probably the last one. No, it wasn't. He has a mana potion. Soin's got a chance. Soin's got a big chance, but the army he has to reunite. Huge kiting this fight all over the place, and we're zoomed out a lot already. We have a heal scroll. It's on cooldown. Needs that one. Can pass it to the Farseer, maybe, and he does. Huge healing on Soin. Starbuck is losing a lot. Mountain King, he's burning through the big mana already. Has a heal scroll himself, but without the Mountain King, without the spells, what can you possibly do? Soin is out fighting Starbuck. This is not looking good. This is not looking like the weeklies. Another storm would be great, but also as a carry for that lightning shield, this TC holds so much value. But Star Starbuck is fighting back as long as he keeps the Mountain ki uh, King intact. He has that invo potion, needs that invo potion. Farsia finally level 4 for the Wolves. Both armies are completely falling apart. We're getting back to that hero arena. And is that now the big strength of the human with the brilliance aura? He can skill it now. Invisible casts over and over again. Mountain King out of nowhere. Stormbolt. Does he have the follow-up? Does he have that follow-up? He wants it. He needs it. Cannot reach. So it saves his first hero. Big, 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 big save. Still has that supply lead. Level 5 on the TC. Soon to have a shockwave again. There it is. Not enough for the Mountain King, but he might be netted. One Raider going down here. Invo Potion still there. Uh, Starbuck has to make sure to dodge that nuke. As Soen is clearly lining that up. Here we go. On the rifles, on the casters. Takes the invisibility away. Takes the slow away. Archmage in trouble. We have two Invo Potions. When is it the time? Purge! Ooh, that is always a little bit of a mini disable. Starbuck is losing everything similar to Tight Hunters. Soin is simply fighting better and he has to run. He cannot heal. The priests are usually lifesavers, but not this time. The wolf block, Soin needs to dispel this. Got it. A little bit of freedom and now usually the sanctum of uh, the sanctuary of a human base. Do you want to engage into that? Not really. It is a lot of recovery that is necessary for Starbuck now. What happened to Soen between map one and uh, day one and day two? This is not the person that got smacked by Fortitude three and oh. This is a whole different beast today. These fights are incredible. Mountain King close to five. This is the missing piece in the human army. Suen doesn't have an expo, right? No, there's a building at the bottom left, but this cannot be an expansion. I think it's too close to the gold mine as well. Thank you, Clemens, for the sub. Hey, Neo and Chad, wish you all a refreshing weekend. No lumber for Starbuck anymore. He has two lumber workers only. The turtle is level five. So it knows though. Oh, so it knows. Starbuck, you gotta scout the army movement. There's no way you can take the fight. He knows. But how do you get out there? No heal scroll on uh, Starbuck. Even supply. This is a free kill. How do you stop the cow? With the Stormbolt first and foremost. The splits are amazing! The clap didn't connect at all! Dodging the Stormbolt as well. This is like an ARPG here, where you have to dodge the enemy's uh, ultimate attacks. We're going for the TC. Star Shockwave again. We have no heal scroll anymore. This is all hero focus now. He's trying to be the one to block and the rifle lay the damage and the Mountain King ends there. Oh, he was controlling him so well. And the second hero escape in quick succession. Starbuck, desperate, mercenaries, and they might bring the damage that is necessary. No TP, but the Mountain King is out of mana and he saves the Farseer again, again and again and again. Starbuck can't edge out the victory here. He's down to 30 food. Mountain King, desperate for mana. Trying to stay close to this Archmage. You gotta wonder if Brilliance or a level 3 wouldn't have been better. He calls for the game. Shakes his head. Desperate. So in is Mr. Unbreakable so far. 
And the road might just be over for Starbuck here. He needs again a reverse sweep. Starbuck has shown yesterday what's in him in Orc versus Human. Now you gotta do it with Human versus Orc. Starbuck, the top four player in the ELO ranking after yesterday's win. 80 ELO points he put to his name. But sometimes ELO is just a number. And all that counts is the performance on the final day. Was yesterday just the flu. Fasir is here trying to catch hurt peasants. There is a deny. Big heal potion can be great if Starbuck is looking for a fast level 3 and a push towards Soen's base. The play that put human ahead versus orc for a long time. The fast level 3 into the base. At early level 2, we haven't seen that yet. Rather focusing on rifle. And Starbuck is a super rifle heavy player. Versus Night Elf, double Rex rifle. Versus Happy Yesterday, one Rex rifle or Pally rifle. Here also, both maps fast rifle casters. We start attack. Definitely later than before. Was that three farms? Well, Soen is moving to a very similar approach Ooh, compared to game one on tight hunters. With head hunters, I think Starbuck is doing a fine job in shaving off HP. This will force a fast shot. This will delay Soen a little bit. But this is not where he wants to fight, I think. He wants to creep. He wants level three. And then he wants to be in the base. So, nobody can really follow the game plan the way he wanted it to. But, if you kill a headhunter, you don't have to creep. But now there's another water elemental summon. 105 mana. Ooh, this could line up perfectly. Defend is a little off. Mana is a little low. This is not mega scary for Soen. This is holdable. Tech isn't done yet. So yeah, Starbuck is here a little bit too early, actually. Burrow so far. Oh, I love that Burrow position. OMG. He carved out a little bit of space for the Burrow, so it's protected when Starbuck is here. So he can't cancel a Burrow in production, but has to go for a finished one, which can then be repaired. We do have a big heal pod. Archmage can stay a little longer. But is the Brilliant Aura strong enough? He's shifting the focus from Burrow to Headhunter. And I think he's doing a good job with that. Spirit Lodge number one target. There's also the Cloak of Shadows. So you can hide. Damn! Starbuck is coming in with Vengeance here. Now defend is up as well. It's not that... The production buildings are killed, but that could very, very well be the case. And he gets it. Woo! He is making the very, very best of this situation. Soen is, for the first time in this series, struggling hard. And Starbuck, with a sock play, going for the Beastmaster. That is a bit of a liability. That is a sign that I know I'm ahead. I want to finish you now. I don't really care about the ultra late game. You will be broken then. For that. Yeah, stop! Uh oh, surround. That's the way out. There's the Cloak of Shadows. There's the Cloak of Shadows. He thinks about it. And that is a lot of room for the Beastmaster on the right hand side. Again, going for the Lodge. And that has to be cancelled as well. We saw it in the overlay. Reveal now. Archmage has a water elemental here. Sending it back. Can he reach? He wants to be outside of TP range with the TP. That didn't work. Now the Beastmaster is on his own. But 
so far Beastmaster was a solid call the base is in shambles 30 food only lumber is a disaster and the Beastmaster is still here priests now five goodies priests and cool beasts no shop <gasps> no shop indeed but what we got is a stomp is a beast master is a surround oh he opens it up again can he keep the damage up of the quill beast is this the third launch it very much is it very much is defend footies have a lot of value a lot of ehp against the piercing double kill gets another hat hunter if you want to trade footies for a hat hunter he takes that any day of the week so in is playing from the Stone Age. But it's not over yet. This is not over yet. It is a Beastmaster who falls off heavily. Town portal gone, big potion gone, he's claiming a bit of map control, gets the health stone, kinda nice. TC under leveled, Farseer under leveled. What's the play now? Unlike yesterday in the matchup versus Happy, it is not the all out aggression, it's falling back and expanding. He's trying to go mass, maybe even triple sanctuary. He saw the stomp, he knows that breakers, especially here on Northern Isles with good positioning, breakers can stop the TC and then you can operate from range with Blizzard and then you win the game late game, even if you only have a beast. But so in. Goes for a counter expansion. This time Starbuck with three summons has to scout this earlier. You gotta roam. He got the entire middle. Starbuck has no TP. Sobi Mask is amazing. Are we being caught here? No gold for a TP. Oh, so in new. So in knows. Gets the slow out. This is not good for Soen. Army is split. This could be quite some freebies. At the moment, nothing is falling. The workers have been sent to the side. It is a cancel. This is great time. But this is a... Uh, quite an invite for the slow trap. When is the time to town portal for Soen? It is now. This must be a sign for Starbuck that Soen wanted to go for aggression to cover up his expansion. It must be. Wait. Stomp and shockwave. So in misclick? It must be misclick. He got the scout out. He got the damage. There was uh, a shaman here, but what do you do against bears? Yeah, no extra movement speed is a problem. We play a little bit of Ring Around the Rosie. That TC is not looking good. That entire game isn't looking good. We have a full force Starbuck army on top of an expansion in the base. Reinforced defenses is up. But that also means that you can harass the workers. You can hurt the economy. Dispel on the wolves. Good micro control. And he's catching him again. There is no real catch like a Stormbolt. But no aura versus slow. That's a movement speed disadvantage that he can't run away from. With Ensnare, that helps a little bit. Starbuck slowed back though. Or slowed back? Held back? So in a thousand gold? What's he going to do with that?
Starbuck feeling confident. Trying to keep Soen on his side of the map. It's becoming more and more true in today's Warcraft. Offense is the best defense. Does Soen have another shot? Is it tier... Is it tier 3 transition possible? Tier 3 into tiny? Because Starbuck plays so passive? I guess rather not. You're gonna be overwhelmed by mass breakers. So it was just staying in upkeep. Still harassed by invis summons. Yes. Shades of sky. This is so obnoxious. You can park a shaman in the back and one is coming out of the lodge. But that's the dispel gone. That's the purge gone. And you don't have infinite mana. And there you go. Can't prevent the kills. This is good. So in. Yeah. He's running into a wall full force. Perfect positioning. He's not allowing Soin to come all the way to his base. But there's a needle hole here. And he clocks that up with breakers. Love that positioning. Perfect. And this summon harass never ends. It is the PGL Grand Final Fly versus Infi all over again. Oh, and so it's getting caught. That was on Turtle Rock, that map. I think a lot of old schoolers remember. Chain Wave always strong, but it's already hard enough to run away from slow with an aura. Now you gotta do that without an aura. And Starbuck feels confident enough to go into an open battleground. This spell is available. We need a lot of Kodos. TC surrounded, readjusting this around. No Invo Potion, no TC. He's able to snack his way out. But this caster army should be very well protected with a perfect time for the heal scroll and so in sees it as well. This was not a perfect game. GG, Starbuck is back. Is it happening again? Is this where he takes the momentum? Is this where the series turns around? Both players are close to a mercenary camp once again. So when... This is a bit disadvantageous for him. As of course mercenary camps can be crept quickly with militia. This is why Aquals was good for Starbuck in the beginning. But this... Can be harassed and this is why Starbuck is not immediately going for the mercenary camp. But rather go for the standard lap. How many peasants will die? Fortitude yesterday on this map lost five peasants in this harass versus Starbuck. No lasted opportunity. This is level two. Archmage finds the ring of the Archmagi. This is amazing. Okay. How many peasants? First one, safe for now. Second one, safe for now. Wolf block missed. This is clean as a whistle for now. Arcane tower up. Still got a micro the peasants. This is not safety, but maybe the deny. Not yet. One kill. This is so much better than what we've seen from other players on this map. One peasant kill that's basically free. So in cross the entire map for 75 gold and 25 XP, and that wasn't worth it. Huge start for Starbuck on map 4. Wait. What's Starbuck doing? Are you kidding me? No way he's going red. No, 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 no. So it was checking. They know each other so well. Soen knows the evasion creeping creep route is here on the right hand side. Ships in the night. But he sees him. Starbuck went to the left hand side to ruin Soen's scout. Soen was checking bottom left hand side and then double checked the creep spot if that creep is happening. 
Because usually there would be an expansion coming up now on Twisted by so many players. Starbuck is trying to move away from that expansion play because Soin is really good with high tempo tier 2 against expansion plays. So he's moving to an unusual macro map level 3 creep route for Baseras. The mind games are next level like for both players. You could probably explain the situation for like one hour. We got the fend up. We got the strong footies again. Power level of headhunters just fell off big time. Wolves are helping for now. Tech advantage for Soin is there, but it's not huge. But we have a similar situation that we had on Northern Isles with a close to level 3 Archmage with Soin contesting, sacrificing his own level to slow down Starbucks level and then start the real creeping with a lot of headhunters. The question is, will Soin again lose headhunters? And I don't think that is the case. So this is way more even than Northern Isles. And no headhunter was lost so far. Defend enabled and disabled to keep the movement speed up. And he lets him go now. Troll regeneration. Starbuck is taking quite some hits here. I think Soen is gaining some momentum. He's already building a bit proxy. <sighs> Starbuck is getting level 3, but the TC sees it. No Stomp this time. It's the Beastmaster again! Oh boy! The Lodge is still in production. Can he reach? Town portal immediately. Archmage, water elemental. He cannot be forced into a town portal now. He needs the damage. Beastmaster needs to summon a lot. It's a very different game now with Bear first. Starbuck not committing full time to the Spirit Lodge, but rather take the fight. And I wonder if that was the right call. We will have a very, very strong dispel now at the beginning of tier two. But what about the creeping game? This is all about headhunters. And a couple of headhunters were falling in the process of this fight. Water Elemental, for once, not interested in buildings, but on these headhunters. And that is another kill and heal self cancelled. The bear is actually reaching. The Water Elemental is still up. This could be three headhunters here. One more splash. Doesn't get it. Good save by Soen. But was it enough? The buildings are up. The burrows stay up. Creep speed is at best mediocre. But that goes for Starbuck as well. It's time to clean up Expos. Should he have gone for the launch? Archmage hitting hard. Nameless T, thank you for the sub. Remember your prime subs! That's right. Starbuck. Oh, Defender's still up. That is not... <gasps> he might be caught! But he's still got the TP and the heal potion. The footies are missing because of the defense. I praised him for enabling and disabling it here now. Now he's disabling it while he's in the fight. But okay, and snares are flying. Bears are raging. No bears just yet. Good chain lightning. I love the adjustment by Soen to go chain lightning too. This is so much damage in presence of Dispel Priest. Raiders are falling. Big fight. TC is struggling. It is a fight for mid game control. You really want the camps and in Soen's side, you want to buy more time to be able to escape here. Again, not perfect, but Starbucks somehow makes it work. It is 
Whoa, it's a big push. With all the militia here trying to go for towers. The AoE is mental. No heal scroll available. The last bit of mana. Chain Lightning 2 has been sick, but has it been sick enough? Lots of casters. Few, maybe one more water elemental. Raiders are falling, taking a lot of control. A lot of Soen's army. TC in trouble. Has another heal self. Will be cancelled. Being slowed. The cow might be on the slaughterhouse. Getting burned. It's stake on the menu today. TC down. Fossey is still alive, but the peasants, pickaxe power on the upper right hand side. There's more mana to be gained here. The Beastmaster's close to three. Starbuck with momentum. This time he was aggressive. And this time he did not let Soen expand. Playing the mind games for I ten minutes straight that. on Twisted Meadows. That TC kill is a big dent in Soen's play. He had an opportunity there, almost going for the creep for the creep jack. The peasants, the footies were all trailing behind. But Starbuck makes it work somehow. Not even using the big heal potion here at any means. He his brilliance aura is working. More summons. We have four purges. This is a lot, but that is then not a fighting army. Pressure on Soin is rising. An item that he can sell immediately, trade it for another heal scroll. That is two now. The biggest strength of Soin is Shockwave, Chain Lightning. Soin is not going for another expansion anymore. He's bruised, bent, limping. And Starbuck wants to end it here now. He knows the TC will outscale him eventually. Slow trap. Another uh, kill for free. Is it a positioning war once again? Not enough breakers for that, I feel. Access to mercenaries. Soen stays in no upkeep. If he stays there long enough, this might give him the edge. Raiders breaking through. Heal score number one necessary. This was a shockwave level one. The last shockwave level one as we have a TC level three. Berserker is a huge damage dealer. This is why Soen is committing a lot, including more spells. Starbuck needs another heal scroll. It's on the Beastmaster, who's far away from the casters. Maybe a bit mispositioning, but there's more mercs coming. The Mauler for Bucky. Pre Summoner being taken out. Archmage level 4. So much mana now for him. 49 food versus 46. This Kodo has eaten. He wants to free that breaker. Mauler, of course, huge experience, and this is all about heroes at some point in the game. Slow Trap kicking in, casters to the side, wants to dodge another Chain Lightning, which he is lining up, but this Orc army is barely moving because the Dispel is all needed on the summons to prevent that damage, and they can easily run away from that. One base, one base, Starbucks still fighting. How much more summons are there? The Quill Beast level 2 would love to see the bear, but we ain't getting that. More and more breakers are coming in. Gotta replenish a couple of these supporter casters in Sorks and Priest. And it's a long, long, long time until they arrive here. Somehow, Soin got more kills in. Soin got more AoE in. And the heal scroll is gone. Can Soin turn this around? Starbuck lost so much. Oh my god, how is he getting that mana in this position of the fight? Starbuck, it looked so good. He had the momentum. But now it might all be falling apart. TC has another shockwave, has a potion on the Archmage, needs it, now gets it, saves him. Wolves are critting another end snare. there's a TP, when does he have to use it? Soon, shockwave, needs the healing now, needs the priest to be micro. He's running to the shop, he wants another heal scroll, he got the 260, but he can't risk it. Otherwise, the nets are flying and he's using more and more units. Beastmaster, close to four. Misha, gotta save... Starbuck, another kill for free. So in again, it is the story of the series with an with a better fight. With a better fight. Starbuck was expecting another expansion that wasn't there just yet. These games are so back and forth. Every AoE combo can change the game. Every heal scroll can change the game. How much fight is left in Starbuck? It is one base, one base. He's not under that much pressure.
If he gets the Staff of Silence here... Spell Shield, very unfortunate. Heal Scroll. I think he has to sell it. It's too much value. The only thing you can block is a Purge. Ooh, is it Purge or a Chain Lightning? I think you sell it, get 600 gold, get two heal scrolls from it, way more value. Starbuck trying to sidestep. A late game expansion, right hand side, at the red spot. So in got wolves, they can roam. Seeing how he played before, I think a witch doctor is not unlikely. And Yeah, and he's going to the red spot. He's gonna see it. Will it finish though? Can he still cancel it before? <gasps> Massive moment. Does he keep the spell shield? <gasps> so it is not moving north! He saw the Beastmaster, tried to intercept, couldn't reach, Expo not scouted, sees Starbuck scouting an expansion now. This could be a huge ruse. Making Soen think that Starbuck wanted to expand here, but this should also give him the clue that he did something else before. Oh my god, this is working. He saw the item. He saw the item. True. True. If he clicked the inventory, he saw the item. Did this wolf scout and beastmaster position... Just save the expo. Archmage portaling again. This is red spot so in. Oh, imagine Starbuck portals to his expo now. Star senses that Soen's expo is up and pushes. But this is red spot. Kiro slays. Thank you very much for the sub. Nobody hates Neo more than my wife. First thing in the morning. <laughs> Greetings. Starbuck needs more. I think Starbuck needs tier 3. Blizzard. TC5. So tanky. There is a push now. Blizzard is a sort of siege. He's distracting in the main. So in with the counter expansion. And Raiders are, of course, amazing at base races. Same for Shockwave, Chain Lightning. It's... Oh, good dodge. Peons down. Got a TP. So in same army, Militia can be called, but it's all gonna be fodder for the Orc Artillery. Starbucks tournament life on the line. No room for error. The Breakers can create a lot of space for the big, big damage dealer, the biggest damage dealer human has, and that's the Archmage. Blizzard gotta win the game. But Soin's retreat is good. He doesn't have heal scrolls though. Usually, Blizzard is combined with Clap. And then it's harder to maneuver out of the Blizzard. Archmage exposed! Might need an invul very, very soon, but can he just stick to it? There's no TP. Is there a way out? Breaker blocks the door. Invis and retreat. He tried to gun for the Archmage, but there was a bit of healing. Shockwave was great, but not enough. He has to retreat behind the Breakers. He can't expose this Archmage. Raider is positioning forward to have that Ensnare ready, but this is a lot of damage. And so in engaging into this without a heal scroll is... Rough and Starbuck having the presence of mind for Invis Bear onto the peons. This is so great. We're getting close to Misha. So and now. Does he know about this expo? Starbuck has no TP and no gold for it. He's leaving the expo alone again. One heal scroll, one mana potion, heal scroll invul on the other side. 60-60, both are spending all their gold. Nobody is missing a beat. 
Армию игрока атакуют. That's level five. Link bash bear. Guys, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Flute. Solid. Really curious if this spell shield is worth it. He goes Quillbees 3. Really? Ah, uh, there is... Ah, uh, 3 shaman? 5 shaman. That's different. Three heal scrolls and a town portal. There's finally, finally, finally a scout. And a witch doctor. Finally. Okay, here's the attack. Soen has a gigantic chance to eliminate that second base and kick open the door to the lower bracket final verse 1 0. Starbuck, I don't think he can respond. He's going for the main. But where's the damage? Archmage no blizzard. Archmage no blizzard. Starbuck shaky. He doesn't want to fight even with three heal scrolls. This expo is toast. In the meantime, he is harassing again with summons. He's trying to keep so in supply block. Doesn't work. This is not good. He's jumping right on top of it. What's this here? Uh oh, he's trying to reposition. Archmage, Blizzard, again, there's very little wiggle room. Headhunters are, of course, very, very fragile. So is the Archmage. Can he stay in this fight? Reposition, go for the Blizzard once again. There's a Shockwave. Beastmaster has no invul. Needs an invis, needs a TC. Exposing this Archmage. Purge Chain Lightning! Invo Potion Forced as well. But now the recovery is obviously on so inside. More supply, better levels. Expo up. So in. Making the better calls. Starbuck, this was probably for once not the right play. This was so much. Heal scroll, invul, TP, units, falling, everything. Arch uh, Farseer close to six. Archmage is not. Mass teleport could be amazing, especially with invul. This fight was so disruptive. Dondo says amazing. And snares by Soen. More than true. And Soen can play his very game. There was hope after map three. There was hope after the early game. But this is no Mountain King. This is Beastmaster. Fighting on open battleground is not where you want to be. Is that the last moment? Shockwave. The artillery hits hard. Breakers have no support. He's just throwing one spell after the next. Uh oh, heal scroll on cooldown. No TP. Has to pass it ideally. Invo potion used immediately to get rid of the cooldown. Militia coming in, but he only has eyes for the old man on the horse. He wants to take that blizzard away. That brilliant Zora away to not fuel the casters anymore. Beastmaster. Can he save him again with Invis? Maybe Purge and Snare! Second hero for Starbucks falling! Level 6! This is the end of the line for the hero of yesterday! He was able to reverse sweep happy, but he cannot eliminate his teammate! So in! Top 3 performance! His best offline result ever! Ruin Starbucks' dream of an offline final! Two best friends, it's not easy to go head to head on a final day of a tournament. Still, fair play, hugs. Great sportsmanship by Starbuck there as well, but so in. Maybe a bit better prepared, maybe just a bit better shape.